What's going on guys? Jade here. Yamacon just happened. Do I look like I've slept a collective of like 10 hours over the past three days? Because if I don't, I certainly have. So at Yamacon, I did something I do at every convention I go to nowadays, and that is look for stuff to add to my Ida bag. I have an Osamatsu-san Ida bag. It's my, it's my pride and joy, dude. But bam, look at it. Look at how cute it is. It's, 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 um, it's in a little bit of a bad shape right now. I started this actually probably at last Yamacon where I got this bag from Eda Bag Palace. If you have any interest in Eda Bags at all, please go check them out. I got a ton of my accessories that I'm going to show today from there as well as this bag itself. And they're such a nice person too. But this video is not about showing off my Eda Bag. It's about fixing this poor, disheveled boy. As I was looking around this weekend for other Osamatsu-sen charms, I was just like, I kept looking at my Ida bag and I was like, this kind of sucks now. <laughs> like if you look under here, I set it down on like a wet carpet at my university and it like soaked up through the bag and look at the underside. Oh. Oh, the, oh, it's so gross, dude. And then like on top of that, like the arrangement of like all of the, the items and everything is so messy now. Like there's so much dirt inside of here and everything. So I need to remedy that. We need to fix this to make this look its best to restore the Osamatsu San Ida bag to its original glory. And that's what we're going to be doing here today with some Ida bag surgery. Let's hop right into it because I can't, I can't stand to have it this way much longer. Okay, first things first, we are gonna take each and every single last piece off of this Eda bag because this boy's in a desperate need of a wash. <laughs> Oh god. And along the way of taking these off, maybe I can explain where I got each of them, because a lot of these have really, really interesting stories attached to them. So let's go ahead and start with the oh, the biggest lad just fell off. He literally, literally just fell off. Okay, so this massive button I actually got from a K-Books while I was in Japan. And for those of you who don't know what K-Books is, um, imagine like Barnes & Noble here in the US, like a big bookstore, but it's entirely for doujin. And when I say doujin, I mean Japanese fan-made content. Like when an anime or a manga is released, fans usually will take it to the next level by making their own like side stories. Imagine fan fiction here in the US, but like taken to a totally other level. This store had so much osamatsu san stuff. I was, I was in heaven. I'm literally, I think I spent like two hours in that store. And I went back like five times. <laughs> Look at how cute Ichimatsu is. He's absolutely baby. Oh my God. This I think is my favorite piece from the whole Ida bag, but we have a lot more to go. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on them. I'm gonna put him right there. And let's talk about this tiny, adorable kitty Ichimatsu that was attached to that button. I don't know what to say. I mean, he's just, he's just baby. Look at this. Boy, look at the peats. Look at the butthole. <laughs> I got this boy at Intech, uh this year, 2019, from a friend, actually. I think he almost trumps the big purple Ichimatsu button as my favorite because it is... <laughs> So let's move on to the stuff that's inside the heart right here. So these are just a few random buttons that don't really have much of a story. If you're gonna have a, a successful Eda bag, you need to have like an, an absurd amount of buttons. So that's definitely what I have here. And I haven't removed anything from this Eda bag in probably over a year. So this is this is quite a trip, dude. I will say that this button, this Totomatsu button, this absolutely baby boy in a heart shape. I got him at Awa last year, my first Awa, it yields a very super special place in my heart because that was a super wonderful convention. I love Totomatsu. The art is super duper cute. It's in a heart. Like, are you kidding me, dude? That's so cute. So I really, really like this one. Um, oh my God, the lamination is coming off. Water got inside of it. Oh, oh, do you see that? Look at that. At the top right there, you can kind of see the water. Well, I'm not, I, you can't even really tell. So I'm not, I'm not going to take it out. <laughs> Look at the heart-shaped dirt imprint. There's like a massive, there's like a heart-shaped dirt imprint. That's so horrible. What have I done to this poor bag, dude? This other button's out. Nothing really to speak of here. And besides all the dirt that's inside of it. Now, let's start focusing on um, all of these, these charms that are all along the sides right here. The, the super duper cluttered mess. They're like all tangled, dude. Like it's completely tangled. I don't know even, I don't even know where to begin. I guess I'll remove uh, the pin that they've been hanging from and see how that goes down. Uh, ooh. 
Ooh, oh no, there's, wait, no, ah, ooh, ah, okay, here we go. So this pin actually has another really cool uh, story attached to it. I also got this Choromatsu while I was in Japan. This absolutely baby boy, get in there. I got him in uh, a mystery pack, I guess you could say, that I got when I went to the Osumatsu San Cafe. Yes, there is an Osumatsu San Cafe in Osaka, Japan. It, it, Throw up a picture right here. It was something so incredible, dude. And as you were leaving, you were given the chance to buy like a little merch thing. And I chose a mystery button and got Chodomatsu. Not my absolute favorite boy, but he's still really cute in this, in this pin. Look at him. Everything else here, oh, it's all falling apart now. Oh, wow. It's all falling apart now. Oh, it's all coming together now. This is yet another boy I got at a K-Books in Japan. This Totomatsu X My Melody. Like, look at this lad. Are you kidding me? Oh, it smells so... <laughs> the rest of these are really nothing to speak of. Totomatsu holding Tomoko. Absolute waifu, by the way. If I was to pick a waifu, which I don't really think I have one, I really don't, but it would probably be Tomoko from Osumatsu-san. That or Ichimatsu himself. I think that's a husbando, actually. Anyway, this... This absolutely sultry boy I got at Yamakon last year is one of my absolute faves of sleeping his little bed. And then this, this absolutely adorable, look at this one, look at this one. It has three top tier boys, but it's also kind of sparkly. I don't know if the, if the picture will pick this up. I don't remember where I got this. This might have been at Ewa or Momocon. It's been so long at this point, I can't possibly remember. But it's one of my faves. It's super duper adorable, dude. And then, and then this winter boy, look at this, look at this absolute cutie. Okay, and now, do you think that we were done? Do you think we were even close to done? How dare you, dude? We got a whole nother, whole nother side here to do. How do we even, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if I can properly convey this tangle via video, but wow, is it bad? This is gonna take a second. It's off. It's off. I can't even be excited because it's just so atrocious looking. <laughs> okay, so this is another one of my absolute favorites. A boy that I found also at Yamakon, a shoe and Ichimatsu Converse. Look at this boy. We as like a Western culture are inferior until we start putting our characters on shoes. Then we have this tired little fluffy sushi boy. I believe that that's octopus on the top of him. Also Ichimatsu, in case you guys can't tell. I really, really like Ichimatsu. <laughs> Look at him up there. So soft, also really dirty. Now this is another Osamatsu-san X My Melody crossover with Toromatsu as my melody. Look at this boy. I, I got him in tandem with the other one that's over there. And look at him. Look at how fluffy he is. Look at his little face. Ah! He needs a wash too. Wow. Can, can you see that? Can you see the dirt on him actually? He is not doing super hot. And then now here we actually have a few uh, grouped lads. Them being like the, these little, these little sort of like Japanese style dolls, I believe. But they're three little wooden boys. Take a look. Look at my sons. And then this. Oh. <gasps> look at this baby boy. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh! Last but not least, this perfect tiny little figure of a tired special boy, our Ichimatsu. Look at him, look at his little ruffled hair. That's all of them. That is my whole array of Osamatsu-san memorabilia that complete this Ida bag. But without further ado, we're gonna pop this boy in the washing machine for quite some time. With a little bit of bleach, see if we can get some of the staining out, just see if we can wash him in general. Please, dear God, I hope we can get him clean. Let's go. Welcome to my laundry room. I am literally too tall for this camera angle, so I have to bend down like this. Hi, how are you guys? Hope you're having fun. So we're gonna pop this bad boy in here for about 45 minutes, get him all nice and clean. Mm-hmm. Make sure everything's out of here. I don't want anything like getting washed and caked inside. Oh, wait, they're like, wait. There was another one like left inside. Oh, that would've been so tragic, oh no. It's an Ichimatsu one too. I gotta keep him safe. I gotta I gotta keep this boy safe. He's gonna go right here the whole time. In they go. Let's put that right in there. Okay, now we need detergent. Boom, bam, tie pods. There's one. Only need one. And I'm just gonna put in like a dab of bleach, maybe. Carefully. Oh, I oh my god, it splashed everywhere. <laughs> it should be fine. Boom. I'll see you guys in over an hour. <laughs> 
It's been about an hour and 45 minutes, roughly, and the bag is now washed and tried. We're about to get our first look at how it turned out. I'm super excited. Okay, oh, oh, it actually turned out super, whoa, 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 wait a minute. This worked like supremely well, oh my gosh. Like, I mean, look at this. The colors are so much brighter, like there's no sign of dirt anywhere. It got all of those gross stains off the bottom and from the back too, but they're non-existent now, dude. Oh my gosh. I think the biggest thing is like how much the colors pop now too. Like, I mean, everything looks so much more vivid. It even got like most of the dirt heart circle away. Like, <laughs> most of it's gone. And now with that, let's go put the stuff back on. Now we get to the reconstructing. And earlier on in this video, I complained about how tangled up and clumped a lot of these uh, charms were because they really, really were. I have a solution to that, actually. Thanks to Eat a Bag Palace, the person I also mentioned earlier on in this video. These are four little perfectly colored safety pins that I should be able to attach a few of these charms onto and spread everything out, make it look nicer, make it just go together so much more neat. So once again, a huge thank you to Eat It by Palace for these. Not a sponsor, I just really, really love what they're doing. And if you want to make yourself one of these, please go check them out. They're truly doing this community a huge favor. So without further ado, let's start, let's start putting this thing back together. <laughs> The whole process of putting it back together turned out so super well. It looks so much cleaner. Everything's more spread out. The safety pins helped so, so incredibly much. Like, I can actually see everything. Things are getting tangled anymore. Like, even the ones over here aren't getting tangled. I can put two plushies in places. It just looks so, so much better. And the bag itself is actually clean. Like, it actually got clean. I noticed a few, like, imperfections with the bag. I've had it for, like, over a year now, so that's probably to be expected. But this whole process went way better than I ever could have hoped. I mean, this is the, the revamp that my Eda bag needed. Now it's good for future cons. Um, probably won't be carrying it to class anymore like I have been for like three months. But regardless, I'm super duper happy to have this good to go. So I've shown you guys my Eda bag. Let me see yours. Leave a comment down below about what your Eda bag is about and show me over on the social media surrounding your screen. I'm super active on Instagram. Hit me up there. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. This has been such a fun video to make and I'm happy to be back in the saddle as always. But above all else, guys, be safe, make good choices, have a wonderful day, and peace out. Oh, these